Presidente, diretto da Mincan, Rana da Nights, com'è passare da un film indipendente a un film diretto da un grande maestro come Paul Schrader? E per il maestro vi volevo chiedere, dato che ha scritto tantissimi lavori che non ha diretto, se tornasse indietro c'è uno di questi che vorrebbe dirigere da regista oggi dopo tanti anni? Grazie. Did you put this video get the, 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 the translation? Okay, let me, let me just say that. Yeah. So, so you, you already made a movie with an independent director, well done, and how is it to go from a smaller production with a relatively, you know, less, lesser known director to someone, something, get to work with Paul Schrader? <laughs> no, I go, okay, great. Um, no, it's incredible. I, I think like, at the end of the day, like every, in my head, I guess, like every director is like kind of equal. They all just bring like different things to the table. So I don't really see like a, a hierarchy or anything. Um, but working with Paul has been like an absolute dream. I feel like as I grow more and more as an actor, I, I guess I figure, I figure out how to trust like my co-stars and my director more um and i think paul um entrusted me with like such i think an important job with like what this film represents and what this character represents so i took it very seriously um so it meant the world to me and just being able to i don't know tell this young girl's like stories honestly well, I, I don't know if you know it but they have had a mega budget film coming out in a month, right? The Black Adam or The Rock. You know, they they spent more money on craft service in an afternoon than we did on the 12th film. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, she knows, she knows big budget film. Come on, Paul. <laughs> it, was, it was an honor. And, and Paul, the question for you was, 